Hi folks, Tim Newman here with Soft Light Studios and it's time for another Adobe Lightroom Classic CC Quick Tip. Today's Quick Tip is going to be on the Caps Lock Auto Advanced feature. If you're going Caps Lock Auto Advanced feature, I've never heard of that before, then you are not alone. Check this out. So as you might recall, as a bit of a refresher, here in Lightroom, in the library module, there is a toolbar that exists down here that hangs out at the bottom of either the grid view mode, or as you can see here, the loop view mode. If that toolbar is not visible, it's simply a matter of pressing the T key to make the toolbar come back, and conversely, the T key will make the toolbar go away again. If you can't recall that, you can always come up here to the view menu in the Lightroom menu at the top, drop down the view choices, click on show toolbar, which by the way, it shows you that T shortcut key again, and the toolbar will reappear. Now, if your toolbar does not look exactly like my toolbar does at the moment, there are one of two potential causes, and it could be both of those causes at the same time. So point number one, there is a drop-down combo box over here, kind of a context pop-up uh, display, if you will, that shows you all of the toolbar options that are turned on. So if I turn off, for example, color label, I take that check mark away, you'll notice that the color labels disappear here from the toolbar. If I come back in here and turn it back on, they come back. So easy way to check and see if you have features turned off, just hit this combo box over here on the right-hand side of the toolbar. The other possibility that I have seen from time to time on smaller displays like 13-inch MacBook Airs, uh, small Surface tablets, etc., is that you just simply don't have enough screen real estate for everything in the toolbar to display. Quickest way to check that is simply use the tab key, make the side panels go away. That will give the toolbar the entire width of the screen to display its features and everything should show up then. And that will obviously be a real clear indicator whether or not you have a screen real estate problem. And quite frankly, screen real estate problems can easily be resolved because some of the things that I would take off of here pretty quickly if I had a real estate problem is this feature here for rotating pictures, this feature here which mimics the left and right arrow key. I don't think I need those as icons. I can use the keys on the keyboard. The feature here for the impromptu slideshow, easy enough to get rid of the zoom slider here. The navigator, if the tab bar is back on, offers you all of those features anyways. And uh, certainly the facial display. If you took all that stuff off of there, and maybe even the color labels, you would certainly have enough room, no matter what your screen size was, to make the remaining features that you you are likely to use then be able to fit. So hopefully that brings you up to speed here on the toolbar. Now what we came here to take a look at is the caps lock auto advance feature and there are multiple ways that the caps lock auto advance feature works. It works with these ratings flags, it works with the rating stars, it works with the color labels as well. So what I'm about to show you, even though I'm going to demonstrate it with the flags alone, you can apply the same concept to the stars feature and the color labels feature. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back to grid view mode for a second. And one of the things that I can do here with this flag option in the toolbar is I can click on that flag and you notice that flag stays on. If I move to the next slide, the flag goes off indicating that that one's not flagged. But if we come back to this one, you can see up here in the upper left corner that the white flag is on. So that picture is essentially picked. It has a pick flag on it. Doesn't mean anything as far as Lightroom goes, but it is a feature that allows me to sort pictures. I can flag a bunch of them and then say, hey, just show me the ones that I flagged. So it's handy uh, really as an attribute marker, if nothing else. And if I come down here and pick on the black flag with the X in it, you'll notice that the white flag turns itself off. This picture up here now, which is my selected picture, has the rejected flag displayed. If I go over to the next picture, you'll see there is no flag displayed. So it's just on the picture that's currently active. And then last but not least, I can unflag a picture and there is no shortcut here in the toolbar for that. That's simply the U key and the U key, as you can see here, removes the flag and the flag is now gone from that picture. In all reality, you can get to any of the three st flag states by shortcut keys. The pick flag, and you'll notice I'll leave my mouse up here on this picture in the upper left, is the P key. There we go. That's already applied. The rejected flag is the X key. You can see that the rejected flag is now displaying over the picture. And the U key is the unselected flag 
or no flag at all in all reality. So there are three flag states that any one image can be in in any one time. And an image can only have one flag state at a time. So if I wanted to go through and flag these pictures, I could come through here and say, well, I'd like this picture to be picked, and I'd like this picture to not be picked. And you can see nothing really happens there to indicate that. And I'd like this picture to be picked, and then maybe the next one and the next two to not be picked, and then maybe that one to be picked. Okay, so I've picked three pictures, and I've also had to click on the right arrow key each time to make that happen. So this is where the Caps Lock Auto Advance feature comes in really handy. I'm just going to go through and unpick these pictures that I already picked. Just move around to them with cursor keys, hit the U key to unpick them, and they're all back to the way they were when they came into Lightroom. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to double click on a picture and go into my loop view mode. And then I am going to turn on the caps lock key so that it is highlighted indicating that caps lock is on. Now when I hit one of these pick flags, in this case, I'm going to reject this one. That picture has now been marked with a black flag. And you can see that down here in the film strip. There's that little black flag up there in the corner. If I click on that picture, you can see that the black flag is indeed active in the toolbar. We're going to go back to the next picture to the right, which we were automatically on after we hit the reject key, and that's because Caps Lock Auto Advance is in effect. So you'll notice each time as I hit the X key here for ones that I'm rejecting, I automatically move to the next picture. So it's real easy for me to go through these pictures in loop view mode. Oops, went one too far. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reject that one and just keep rejecting these. I like this one a little better, so I'm going to pick it. Pick this one. And you can see it's a real straightforward process here each time that I pick one of these pictures or reject one of these pictures to have Lightroom move on for me. So I am very rapidly going through this folder of pictures. Ooh, like that one, and I like that one. Don't like that one, don't like that one. And you can see I can get through here very quickly. Like that, nah, nope. Oh yeah, looking more at the camera. No, 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 no. Kind of picky here, aren't I? But, whoop. Nope, 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 maybe, maybe, no, no, no. So there you go. I basically hit the X key or the P key to take me through all of these images and the caps lock key being on automatically advanced me to the next image. So I don't even have to use the cursor keys to do this. Real simple, straightforward way to rapidly go through the images. Now, if I'm all done with the Caps Lock Auto Advance feature, I just turn Caps Lock back off and it will no longer auto advance through the pictures. Not the point of this video, but we'll show it real quickly. If I go to grid view mode and I open up the attribute filter up here at the top, which is part of the filter bar, and by the way, if the filter bar is not showing, that is your backslash key. And again, that's up here in the view menu too, under show filter bar, and there is your shortcut key for that one. And again, that works on both Mac and Windows. So here in the attribute bar, I can say, hey, show me all the ones that I picked. Hey, it's those eight, sorry, 10, not good at counting on the fly. Uh, show me all the ones I didn't pick. Well, there's none of those because all I used was the pick flag and the rejected flag. So I'll turn that one off and say, show me all the ones that I rejected. Here's all my rejected photos. And here's what's really cool. If I have decided that I am done with these pictures, I don't want them anymore, I can do a Command A and then hit the Delete key. And all 44 of those pictures, because they're currently active, are now selected and they can be run through a delete operation. Now you might want to look at our video on what does delete versus remove mean in Lightroom and that'll give you some insight there. But as you can see, this can be an unbelievably quick way to work through a folder of images and get down to exactly the ones you want to keep. Well, there you have it, folks. The Caps Lock Auto Advanced feature in Adobe Lightroom CC. Who knew? <laughs> I hope you find this tip to be helpful. It certainly has sped up the culling process for me. A lot less movement on that keyboard, just selecting between those pick and unpick shortcut keys, and I'm off to the races with deleting the stuff I don't like. And trust me, the amount of stuff that I shoot that I don't like, it's nice to have a fast way to get it out of my catalog. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you appreciate this information that we brought to you here today. Remember, 
Don't forget that subscribe button down there below in order to keep up to date with Soft Light Studios and what we're bringing to you next. And as we always say, learning equals skills, practice equals mastery. We'll see you out there. Thank you.